Last week I did a sous vide video and we're doing another one this week. This time we're sous videing a burger. Trust me, it's gonna taste better than it looks. Now, now as we should know, a burger is made with ground beef. Specifically, 80-20 ground beef. 80% lean, 20% fat. And as I speak right now, I'm getting a bunch of food snobs in my comment section complaining about how I'm using pre-made store-bought ground beef instead of making my own. Listen, I love to make my own ground beef mixture, but money's a little tight. So, help me out, support me on Patreon, link in the description. Now here's the thing, we're not just simply gonna make any burger patty. We're gonna make a nice, thick, juicy burger patty. Now you can, now you can form these by hand, but using a ring mold like this is much easier. It's all okay, it's actually a circular dough cutter. It does the same job. So let's grab a handful of our ground beef and place it into the center of our ring mold. Do not overpack it. You're gonna ruin the texture of the burger and you're gonna get something closer to meatloaf. And let me tell you right now, I would do anything for views, but I won't do that. Okay, and drum roll. Boom, a perfect burger patty. Compress it a little bit more. There we go. Next, let's place our patties into a sous vide bag. And let's seal this baby shut. And uh, yes, it's plugged in unlike last time. Bada bing, bada burger. Looks like a specific copyrighted character who I cannot mention, otherwise the copyright lawyers will rob me blind. <laughs> My theme park rides are ocean certified. All right, let's add our burgers to our water bath. Let's set our temperature for 127 and set our timer for 45 minutes. I'm gonna cook this to just below medium rare because come searing time, the internal temperature is gonna rise up and with this method, we'll get a nice, juicy, medium rare. Because if we were to cook this just to medium rare here, the temperature will go up, come searing time, and then it'll be medium well. And that's the biggest burger disaster since whatever hell this monstrosity Wendy's created is. And when it comes up to temp, let it go for 45 minutes. Okay, it's been 45 minutes and our patties are done cooking. And yeah, they don't really look appetizing. They kind of look like meatballs if they suffered from seasonal depression. But that'll all change in a moment once we get to cooking them. But before we get that, we gotta take care of something equally as important. The buns. Something, 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 something ass joke. I don't want my eating experience to become wet and soggy, so we're gonna toast the buns. So I have here a large skillet which we'll set to high heat. And while that heats up, grab some ghee or clarified butter. Dip your little brushy brush in it. Paint it onto our buns and toss them onto the pan. We're using clarified butter because it'll toast our buns much more better. So let these toast for about a minute or two. As you see here, caramelized butter gives it a nice crispier toast. The next step, let's prepare these for our patties. It's quite simple, just dollop a nice spoonful of mayonnaise and a little ketchup. Okay, once we're done with the buns, let's finally see our patties. Using a cast iron skillet, set it over high heat. Okay, once it heats up, let's place on our patties. And, uh, and uh, while they cook, let's season them with a bit of salt. All right, after two minutes, let's flip them. Ooh, getting smoky, gonna turn on the hood. And this is what we want, we want a nice Maillard reaction. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention this. Please do not press down on the <laughs> burger. You're gonna squeeze out all the juices and you're just chewing on a meaty hockey puck. Also, I like cheeseburgers, but not made with American cheese. I'm gonna use cheddar cheese instead. It's from Wisconsin, I'm not being unpatriotic. Oops, 
forgot to season the burger. This is one of the upsides to using a glass lid. You can tell when the cheese is fully melted. Okay, after three and a half minutes, grab our prepared burger bun and yeah, there you go. Uh, let me wait for some of the smoke to clear up to give you further instructions. All right, you got the burger on the bun. Next step, don't go overboard on the toppings. We're just gonna keep it simple. Some onions, some pickles, that's it. And just like that, our sous vide burger is ready to eat. A speed of burgers. Yo, Martin Walls, when's the next volume of The Walton Files coming out? I can only rewatch the Mandela catalog so many times before it stops being scary. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh no, Grandma, if you're watching this, please stop putting burger buns in the refrigerator. <laughs>